Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. We've got Kathleen today from Border who's going to be talking to us about the NIF number, the dreaded NIF number, which we know causes loads of confusion. Uh, hopefully we can clear up some of it and find out how you guys can help. Thank you for joining us today. Lovely. Hi Claire and hi everyone. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. I mean, I think, uh, well, you've been through the process yourself, so you obviously know it inside out and now you, you work in this, you know, you actually, you've created a great business where you're helping people out which no doubt has come come in at a good time in terms of the, the COVID situation where borders have been closed and people are desperately trying to get hold of such information. But maybe maybe we could start from the beginning about what why they need it and yeah. what it, you know why do we need a NIF number? What's the point? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So a NIF number is a Portugal tax is your Portugal tax ID, and this is an essential number for anyone who's looking to move to Portugal. So you would some examples um, of reasons why you would need a NIF would be to purchase property, rent property, um, open you know get utilities for your for your property. Um, yeah. If you have kids, to enroll them in school, buy a car. Do anything. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> so this number is like essential. Yeah, if you're trying, if you're looking to move to Portugal, so it's not necessarily you don't need it if you're just like visiting as a tourist. But if you're looking to move here and do any kind of like official legal um, things, then you need it. You need it. Okay. 